Hello and welcome to the highlights of Qualifier 2 of the Pakistan Junior League. Bhawalpur Royals face Maradan Warriors and the winner goes to the final. Bhawalpur Royals won the toss and decided to field first. Maradan Warriors making two force changes because of injuries. Samama Riaz gets his debut and Emil Khan comes back into the 11. The Bhawalpur Royals go on with the same team that has been getting them results and it's the captain Obeid Shahid goes with the same 11. Let's join our commentators as Qualifier 2 begins. And we haven't really started yet. That was a little bit wayward. You've got to adjust that radar, I think, straight away. Oh, there's some nice swing. And nicely played through the covers. The outfield's uh, on the pacey side, that's for sure. And that's gone for four. That is a fine shot from Thomas. Down the leg side of Fraxen, and that's going to be leg buys. And four of them. Oh, that's cracked away absolutely superbly. Off the back foot for four. What a shot. Over the top. And that's gone for four. Couple of dot balls on the side of the over. And they picked up a boundary now. That's well away from the third man, that's gone for four. Slightly short, he's picked that up and picked it up really nicely. Wow, that's a good shot. That wasn't all that short. Shazab has played a beauty. Yeah, nicely picked up. And you can see he's deliberately forced it in front of square because he's a fielder who's at square leg. Shorts and hammered away. One bounce and that's gone for four. Messed up his length there, did uh, Edward. Oh, that's been grasped. Went pretty quickly, but should have been taken. Oh, he's coming to the attack to try and break this partnership. Opportunity created, put down. Oh, just skidding on. Oh, and he's uh, panicked. Get it! Oh, and that is a beauty. What a comeback from Tony <laughs> Barrett. <laughs> that is an extraordinary catch. Put the first one down and he's snaffled the third with a big dive to his right. Well, that reaction tells you that he knows the importance of this wicket. After the drop chance, first ball of the over. This time, he takes a really good catch. A lot more alert. Look at that celebration. He's enjoyed that. Taya Barif. It's a good stop, that ball. Oh, it's not. <laughs> Big shot. Catch it is the call, but it's not going to happen. It's sailed over the boundary line by a mile. That's wide, and that's just freebies. It's trying to fire that into the pads. Had pace on it. They missed everything. Oh, he's got him. I was just going to say, they will hope that they can continue and do a great deal of the work. Well, that's not going to happen anymore because they've now lost their second. Intelligent bowling from Ubaid Shahid, the captain of Bhavarpur Royals. He saw the batter using the feet, dragged the length back. Catch it, catch it. Prize of catch it. And it's out. It has been caught. Aram Nawab not getting, giving the length there to the batter. He know Oli Cox is not really st strong on the back foot. 
That's gone straight up. Should be another one. That's a very, very good catch. That is a fine grab over the shoulder. Well taken by the youngster. Shahzeb trying to go big. An excellent catch, running backwards, sideways. That was the technique. Cotton ball. Yep, he's got those big mitts around it. There's a terrific stuff from uh, the Royals. Played it too early. Simple catch for Mohammad Zishan and the Kabaddi celebration. We see it again. And I think that's a valid point. They're going to look for two here. Decide against it. Wow. He's kept going. I heard the call of look for two. And that is a typical example of ball watching. Have a look where he's looking. And that's why he can't see that his partner hasn't moved. Big shot. Big shot. Has it got enough on it? Yes, it does. Just over Haider Ali. Bas Basit Ali, rather. Yeah, Nazar's shown that he's not going to be sticking around yet. He's gone straight at the man. Basit Ali on the long off boundary. But he's got just enough legs on it. Get it this time, get Nabil it. goes up and gone. Inside the circle, captain takes the catch. Saw a six from the batting side. He's seen a wicket from the bowling side. He's got a good understanding that something's gone on with both those deliveries. Full toss. And that goes for four. Much needed boundary. No, he can't. No, he can't. The idea is not bad because Mohamed Zishan is at 45 in the circle. And he's gone too far across, exposed his leg stump. Accurate bowling from Sajad. He's been targeting the stumps throughout this over and he's taken pace off on that occasion. Last ball to go. This over, six runs, a wicket in it, a wide, a few runs at the bat, no boundaries. <laughs> This one goes high in the air over the keeper, but there is Edward there. And they come back 4-2. Has he made it? Has he made it? We will check it and we go upstairs. Oh, that's a good job. That's a good job from Chavez. So eventually at the end of 20 overs, it's 132 for 9. Mardan Warriors started very well, got 50 in the power play for the loss of one wicket with Thomas, Shahzeb, Farooq, all amongst runs. But then they nosedived and started losing wickets. The spinners bowled very well. It was uh, Nazar in the end, got 23, helped them to just push their way to 132 for 9 in their 20 overs. Bowlers were brilliant. The spinners, probably not all of them got wickets, but they were economical. Two wickets for Zishan, their highest wicket taker, and in fact, of the tournament as of then. Two for Obed Shahid, the captain. Two wickets for Arham Nawab, and a wicket for Sajjad. So the target, 133 to win the match, and then Royals can move ahead into the final. Let's find out as we join our commentators. That's picked up. That's picked up one bounce and it's gone for four. That's a very good shot indeed. Two balls left in the over. He's got to uh, check that boundary ball. That's away back on the square on the offside. And that's gone for another four. That's a very good shot. And he's gone again. And that is the third in a row. So suddenly runs are coming. 12 off that over, one over gone. Oh, that's a good drive. That's a lovely drive on the up for four. Beautiful shot. Just so easy. Oh, and he's caught it. Sharp catch. Three juggles and he's taken the catch. That's a very, very good catch and a good wicket early. Chauvet's Irfan, and it's good. These are not easy off your own bowling. Not timed so well. Gets a hand on it, gets it up. In the end, juggles it a bit. 
It doesn't matter. It's a wicket for Mohamed Nabil. Not if a ball there, though. That's going to be uh, flicked away comfortably for a boundary. Gone over the top of that one, and he's hit that with some power. Quite a bit of bottom hand involved, and he's picked up half a dozen, and he's gone straight pitch side into the studio. And a high state game pressure on him. It is such a good shot. Which, which seat did it hit? Good power play has got them in a position that they can just get these kind of deliveries put away. Boundary. Slightly short, he's picked it up. Is there an opportunity? No, it just might go away. It has, in fact. Even the ball boy couldn't get to it. We talk about how he can create so much power from that back foot. So many times in this tournament we have seen he's created this shot. Cut away. That's a strong zone. He hits it hard and stays hit. A rare bad delivery from Hasib Khan and played really well by Basit Ali. He has been trying to play this shot for a while. Oh, it's well balled. He's got an inside edge and I think that's going to run away. Oh, it's a valiant effort by Nabil. But that will be four more runs to the total. Amel Khan into the attack. Wow. Absolutely brilliant. Don't really need to commentate on that. Just watch this replay. Punished. This is a, a short delivery to a man in form, and it's another boundary. Oh, missed. Missed by the keeper, and uh, just keep your eye on the uh, umpire. I think it's given runs. It is given runs. Oh, what a lovely shot! What a lovely shot from Taya Barif. Whatever you can do, Basit Ali, I can do better. Oh, boundary. This one is a short delivery that is punished by Bazit Ali again. Straight down the ground. And what a way to finish. Leading run scorer. And Bazit Ali gets into the 90s. And he finishes it. And he's 91 not out of 55, a partnership of 117 from 85 with Tayab Arif, and it is the Royals who will go on and face the Sharks in the first Pakistan Junior League final tomorrow night. So the playoff three is now fair and square and simple. It's the Gawada Sharks versus Bhawalpur Royals in the final of the Pakistan Junior League. So the Bhawalpur Royals batting guard shows that it was absolutely a walk in the park with Basit Ali around 91 of 55, steering his way and the team's way along with Tayyab Arif to a win and a famous win by nine wickets in qualifier two and taking the team into the finals. The bowlers, once again, one of the best bowling attacks, Mardan Warriors, but they didn't have enough runs to uh, defend. Just that one wicket that was from Nabil, a cotton bowl. Otherwise, the bowlers didn't have much to play with in terms of runs. Match summary where Mardan Warriors were asked to bat first. They started off pretty well with 50 for one in their power play. And then they ended up only having 107 on the board at the end of the 17th over. Just shows the slow progress and the downfall in terms of runs. Only managed 132 for nine in 20 overs on a good batting strip Bhawalpur Royals enjoyed their batting 133 for just loss of one wicket Basit Ali 91 not out of 55 Tayyab Arif 32 not out of 31 that was enough to seal a position in the final
Bawalpur Royals eventually winning the game by nine wickets. Hope you've enjoyed the highlights of Qualifier 2. Until next time, it's goodbye.